black and blue salad. Hi, I'm Angie. Thanks for joining me here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen with Life Squared. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Black and blue salad. Yeah, it's part of our 75% healthier eating plan. And we want to invite you to join that 75-25 challenge. Yep, here at Life Squared, the Life Squared Diet and the Perfectly Imperfect Network, we are trying to make it to where you can have a little bit of the bad stuff, but a whole lot of the good stuff, feel better about yourself, be healthier. We want you to be healthier eaters, but also mind, body, spirit, and finances. So watch our videos and we're gonna help you get there. Uh, first of all, you like steak, you say, right? My husband really likes steak. And the doctor said, Eddie, don't eat so much steak. That's a very difficult thing for him. The doctor said it three years ago, we're just now getting to a point to where he is not eating too much steak. So you need to have your steak if you really want it, because if not, you're gonna fall off of that proverbial health wagon and who knows if we'll be able to reel you back in or not. So one way we found is to have a black and blue salad. Yep, you get a little bit of steak and all this other healthy stuff. So you're not eating that baked potato with all the sour cream and butter. You're, you're not eating a full-fledged steak. You're just having some steak on a beautiful salad and man, it really tastes good. You, you're not even gonna miss the other stuff. So what we start out with is about eight ounces of chopped greens. Right here we have some cabbage, some kale. I will say that I threw in about a quarter cup of uh, shredded carrots, all good stuff. Right there, that starts you out on the 75% healthier diet, right there. Okay, next we have bacon. We have about three slices of cooked bacon. We're making a salad here for two people, okay? So note, if you need to make it for four people, you may want like 16 ounces of chopped greens. You're gonna want to, you know, multiply out these ingredients. For us, we have about three slices of cooked bacon and we've cut it into bite-sized pieces. So yeah, pour it in. Next, we have our steak. And what we have is fajita sliced steak. It was fresh steak. Our, our butcher went ahead and sliced it for us. You can chop it, you can you know, cut it like this, whatever you wanna do. Um, we did cook it in about two tablespoons of avocado oil. You can use olive oil, use whatever you have, but try to use a healthy oil. And so we usually figure about six ounces per person this is probably about as little, about seven ounces per person. So it's a little more than we normally do. My husband did put salt and pepper, so I just... steak seasoning. Okay, he used a little bit of steak seasoning on it. Use whatever you love. Pour that in. Now, at this point, I give it a big toss, a stir, just like that. Okay, I add a little salt, and a bit of pepper, okay? Next, I add the dressing. Now, right here is about a half a cup. I think a quarter cup is plenty. I will tell you, in this house, there is a huge difference on how much dressing one thinks they need to use. I don't like a lot of dressing. My husband likes gobs of dressing, so I try to put it on there for him so he doesn't use so much but a quarter cup is, is plenty. Okay, so we're gonna put the dressing on. Okay, and we're gonna give it a stir. It's a really pretty salad. Um, at restaurants, these will be about $18 a piece in our part of the world. I've seen it as high as $23, $24. Um, we usually figure we can make it for the two of us for about $7. Um, so, you know, that varies depending on where you live, but it is good finances to make your own black and blue salad. However, 
going out is a lot of fun too. Sometimes we add tomatoes. We didn't do that because we're not going to be eating it right away. But, you know, we love heirloom tomatoes. It tastes really great in this salad. Then at the very end, I add the blue cheese. Oh gosh, I love that funky smell and taste of blue cheese. We put in about a half a cup. You don't want it to overpower all of your other ingredients. So make sure you don't use too much. Pour it on top and voila, what a beautiful salad. We're gonna make sure you see that end product. And again, just as a reminder, think about doing that Life Square Challenge. 75-25. Yeah, 75% 25. Yeah, healthier. We hope you will tell us your story. It's really um, a great thing. And again, thanks for joining us here in the Perfectly Imperfect Kitchen at Life Squared. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.